Hi guys, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are here with part three of our doll and we are going to learn how to make the dress today, the apron, and the collar. Now, <clears throat> you may, um, you may just be coming to this video so you're not aware of what all's going on, um, but there is a part one and a part two before this that's gonna show you how to make the body. Um, and if you need to know what yarn and size hook to use, I mean, I will give brief instructions in this video, but in the description below and in all the videos is a full material list for everything that you'll need for this doll. So please look at that. Um, but yeah, today we are going to be doing, um, you know, we'll just sleeves, the apron, um, the collar. And for this today, <clears throat> you're going to need two types of yarn. You're going to need the red, you're going to need the Bernay blanket yarn in this cream color. Um, you're going to need a couple buttons um, because on the back of the doll, there are three buttons that hold this together in the back. I'm going to show you that briefly, but you can use any size um, <clears throat> um, buttons you want. You can super, I mean, not super glue. <laughs> well, you could, I guess. You can use fabric glue. You can sew them. You can use hot glue. You can do however you wish to do it. Um, but yeah, you will need the three buttons going down the back here. Um, and then you will need some, now I had some of these already made and I don't even know where I just, somebody gave them to me. Uh, I don't know where I got them from, but they were in my stuff. And so I use these little candy canes, but what you can do is just get a red and white pipe cleaner, you know, do them together. Like, you know, put the colors together, then bend it and cut it for the perfect size to make a candy cane. Very easy. Um, and you don't even have to put this on here at all. Um, you could put something different. You could um, hand stitch something on there, um, or you could leave it plain. You can do whatever you want. I just thought that this was easy, and I did use hot glue to glue these on, okay? Now, um, I'm trying to think of I don't really know of another way that, yeah, I guess you could use fabric glue. You could sew. You could make a little, um, using probably something not as thick as the Bernay, but maybe like a, a white or cream colored um, sewing thread and you could go over it and hold them in. You know, there's all th kinds of things that you can do. Um, you don't have to use exactly what I'm using, but I did want you to know. So, and for today, for the dress, um, we are going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook for the entire dress, the apron, and all of that okay so let me just go ahead and lower my camera and let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to be pulling in my red yarn and we're going to make a slip knot and then we're going to chain 25. one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Okay? So there's our 25. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the second loop all the way down. So we're just gonna go into the second loop and just do one single crochet all the way down.
Okay, so we've done our one single crochet all the way down. Okay. And then we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work and we're going to do three single crochets, counting a single crochet right here in this first one. So there's one, two, and three single crochets. Then you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're going to skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to single crochet into the sixth. Okay. And then you're going to do seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you're going to chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to single crochet into the sixth, and then you're going to do three more single crochets. One, two, and three. Okay? And this is what it should look like. So basically what we're doing now is making the armholes the top of the dress. Now, as you're making this, it's going to look pretty small, but I promise you, once you get it all together, it's going to fit on your doll perfectly. Of course, remember that there is a little stretch in crochet, so just keep that in mind, okay? So now you're going to chain one, and we're going to single crochet all along the top, so we're going to go into this first available stitch, and we're going to single crochet all the way. So when we get to our armholes, we're going to single crochet in each spot across. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then don't forget this one right here seven. Okay. So you're just going to, yeah, like I said, just single crochet all the way across, making sure to get all the um, stitches, even the ones for your armholes. Make sure to go into those stitches, not into the actual um, circle itself. Just like I just showed you. Okay, and now we're going into our last three. One, two, and three. Make sure that you get into that last one. It might be kind of hard to work into, okay? And so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're gonna turn our work and we're going to do six rounds of single crochet. I'm hopefully going to be able to fast forward this in the edit <laughs> so you don't have to go through six rounds of single crochet. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with this. So you would go 
into your first stitch. Just go all the way down. Just doing six rounds, single crochet. Just remember to chain one and turn your work with each round. Okay guys, so we've done our six rounds of single crochet and now we're going to slip stitch this together just at the bottom by bringing these two together just like this and then going through this bottom stitch, pulling through and doing a slip stitch just like that, okay? And then what'll happen is, I'll show you how to do it, but we're going to make loops on this side and then put buttons on this side to hold this top piece together. And so now we're gonna work on the bottom of the dress. So what we're going to do first is we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then in the same spot, we're going to put a, another double crochet because that first chain of three counted as a double crochet. Okay, so now we have two. Then we're gonna go into our next spot and put two double crochet. And then in our next and put two double crochet. And we're just gonna do that all the way around, putting two double crochets in each spot around. And this is just an increase making the dress go out from the top of the bodice. So this quick, um, pretty harsh decrease, meaning that we're doing two in each all the way around. That's the biggest, you know, increase we can do. So that's just going to really make it stand out and puff out from the very top of it. And after we do this row of two in each, that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple rows of increases. And that's just gonna give the, the dress its shape. It's, um, it's crinkle pleating type look is doing all these increases. But I wanna do this one with you on camera so you can show how to start and stop each increased row. So we're almost reaching and don't let this get turned inside out or funky on you. Um, it probably will try to do that. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that this is facing, you know, where the armholes are up here and you're coming around to where you started doing the double crochets. And see, it keeps wanting to even go in on me. Just hold it there with your thumb, your finger. Okay. 
Sorry if you hear my old cat snoring. <laughs> Bless her heart. She's so old. Oh, we love her so much. Okay. So we just finished our last two double crochets. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain of three that you first did. So one, two, and three. So you're going to slip stitch right into there, going through both loops there. Okay. And just like you started that last row, we're going to do another row of increases. And this time we're going to do the ones and twos. If you've ever watched my videos, you know what that means. But in case you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to chain three, just like we did before in that same spot, you're going to put another double crochet. So in every round, you're going to be starting the increase in the first stitch. So there's two double crochets. And in the next one, we're going to put one double crochet. And the next one, we're going to put two double crochets. And the next, we're going to put one double crochet, and so on and so forth. You're gonna do that all the way around. You're going to do an increase, and then you're going to do one double crochet. So you do that all the way around, and then when you get back to the end, you're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain of three. And I'm gonna put a little writing up here for you again, but basically you're gonna do this round that we just started. We're gonna do the uh, increase and then the one double crochet all the way around and then in the next round you're going to do an increase and then you're going to do two double crochets so in other words you're going to do an increase and then you're going to put one double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next and then again you are going to increase so I'm going to put that right up here in the writing for you so you know what to do and then after you do that the two um, the, in uh, the two increase <clears throat> then you're going to do five rows of double crochets. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, four rows. Four rows of double crochets, okay? So again, it'll be up here where you can see it, but I know you know how to increase and I know you know how to decrease and then I just showed you how to start and finish. So once you get through with uh, your um, this row and then your next row of increase, do those four rows of double crochets and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we just finished our four rows of double crochets, and um, we are now going to go on and we're going to do another row. Now, I just wanna show you what it looks like at this point. As you can see, you've got the pleating, you've got the top of the dress with the armholes. Um, so this is what it should look like for you. And so now we're gonna go on to row five. Now for row five, what you're going to do is you're going to um, do, uh, a double crochet um, in each stitch around, but you're going to work, hold on, let me check my, my pattern here. You're going to only work in the front loop all the way around. So only in the front loop of this fifth row are you going to work double crochets in the front loop only all the way around, okay? So only working in your front loop all the way. And I'm just gonna do some of these with you just to show you what it looks like. Working in the front loop only. Okay. So that's what that looks like working in the front loop. It really doesn't look that much of a difference, okay? And then what you'll do after you come all the way around with this front loop and you slip stitch into the top of the chain of three, you're gonna pull in your white. And when you pull in your white, you're gonna be using this Barney baby blanket, okay? So what you'll do is, is when you get um, 
over here and you finish and you slip stitch, you're gonna cut off your red, okay? And you're gonna cut that off and you can work in your end if you need to. And then we're gonna start right back here in the back where we did this first double crochet. And in this first one, because it was a chain of three, you're not gonna really see this, um, the back loop that's available, but these are the loops we're gonna work the white into, okay? So then what you'll do is, just for this first one, I'm just gonna go into the bottom here of this um, chain of three, and I'm gonna bring in my white yarn, okay? Leaving a tail to work in later, or you can work it in now. Chain three, and then I'm going to, working in the back loops, okay? So this is what the front looks like. So now I've done that com row completely and I'm in the back loops only. I'm gonna be working a double crochet in each back loop all the way around, okay? So this is what it would look like with this puffy yarn. You're just working in the back loops all the way down. And I'm gonna do a little bit with you so you can see what it looks like. But this is gonna make this look like it's coming from underneath the dress, like a petticoat kind of thing. And um, it looks really cool. I did it for the last row of mine and it didn't turn out as good. So this dress is gonna look better than mine because I redid the pattern a little bit. Because um, what I did was I started with the white in the fifth and then, well, anyways, that'll just be confusing. But yeah, I did it different when I did mine and it didn't turn out as good. So just working in these back loops with this chunky yarn. Okay. So that's what you're gonna do all the way around. And then when you get back to this chain of three, you're going to slip stitch to close. Now I just wanna show you real quick what this looks like. So this will lay over this, as you can see, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. So go all the way around working in the back loops only, slip stitch to the first, uh, the top of your first chain of three, and then I want you to do just one more round of double crochets, just working normally in the top of each of these um, stitches, you're just gonna go around and do one row of regular double crochet in this Barnet blanket, okay? And I'll put that right up here in the writing as well, but I think you'll pretty much know how to do that now that I've shown you how to do it, okay? And then you'll be all completed with your blanket and you can work in all, I mean, your the you'll be completed with the bodice, the main bodice of the dress, okay? So now what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you how to do the collar and the sleeve. So we're going to do the sleeves now, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this end off, even though it's, I'll come back and complete it later. Um, but to do the sleeves, okay, you're gonna come right up in here. And you're gonna come right into the corner here, just like this. So you're gonna come right into this corner and bring in your color. Now you're gonna work this in later, so it's not gonna matter that you can see it on the outside. But we're gonna come in right here and we're going to chain two, one and two. And then we're going to do a half double crochet around, but we're going to do an increase row. So we're gonna go into our next available stitch and we're going to put one half double crochet, and then you're gonna go into your next and put two half double crochets. And then you're gonna go into your next and do one half double crochet, and into your next two half double crochets. And then again, one, so you're just gonna do that all the way around, the one and two. So if you don't know how to do a half double crochet, let me show you real quick. You're just gonna yarn over, go into your work, pull up your yarn, and then go through all three loops on your hook, okay? So that's how you do that, but we're just gonna keep going around. So two half double crochets.
And this can get a little funky because you're <laughs> trying to work around this hole, basically, but that's what you're doing. And I'm gonna go into your next and do one. To your next and do two. To your next and do one. And to your next and do two. And if for some reason you can only get into the top loop and you can't get, um, excuse me, can't speak, can't get through both, don't worry about it. It's all going to work out okay. Okay, so now we're back here to our first chain of two. I'm going to make sure that this is pulled tightly here. And then I'm just going to slip stitch on my first chain of two here. Just like that. And then I'm going to do four rows. And if you can see, let me show you what this looks like, okay? So now we've started our sleeve, just like that. And you could even technically leave it like that if you wanted to. Let me show you from the front. If you're tired of crocheting and you want it to be over, <laughs> um, you could leave it like that and it would just be a, um, just be a thicker little, um, oh goodness, what do you call it? Spaghetti strap in a sense. But if you want to make the puff sleeves, and I think they do look so pretty and Christmassy, um, then you definitely want to do that. So now we're going to do four rows of half double crochets. So you're going to chain two. That counts as your first half double crochet. And then you're just going to go all the way around doing double crochets, half double crochets for four rows. Okay, so now we finished our four rounds of single crochets and now we're going to chain two and then we're going to do a, a decrease, okay? So we're gonna go into our next available stitch. We're gonna pull up, but don't go through anything. Go through our next available stitch, pull up, but don't go through anything and go through all of those on your loop, okay? So that's a half double crochet decrease. So then you're gonna go into your next stitch and put one half double crochet. And then again, you're gonna do a decrease in the next two. So you're gonna pull up your yarn, go into the next, pull up your yarn, and then go through all four loops, okay? So you're gonna do that all the way around. So let me show you that one more time. We'll do another half double crochet, then go into the next, pull up our loop, go into the next, pull up our loop, oops, sorry like this and then go through all four okay so again going into the next do a half double crochet then go into the next yarn over like you were going to do a half double crochet pull up your loop but don't go through anything then go into the next pull up your yarn and then you have four loops on your hook go through all four and again a half double crochet and you're just going to do that all the way around until you get back to the beginning. So we're on our last half double crochet and then we're going to chain I mean we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain of two okay and so that's kind of made it more pronounced going in to make it really looked puffed and then you're going to do you're going to do one single crochet and chain two all the way around. So I want you to chain, um, 
chain up one, then you're gonna go into your next stitch, chain one, or no, I'm sorry, you do a chain one, then do two more chains, then go into your next stitch and do one single crochet, okay? Then you'll chain two again, go into your next stitch, and put one single crochet. Then you'll chain two again, go into your next stitch, and do one single crochet. So we're just gonna do that all the way around. And this is just gonna give it a little um, edging. So just chain two, single crochet, and chain two all the way around. And then of course you're just going to repeat this for um, your other sleeve, just the same thing. So just rewind this video if you need to, and then watch it again to do um, the other side. So now you're at your end and I just want you to slip stitch to that first single crochet that we did, okay? And then you can cut off, leaving enough to work in and tie in. And let me just show you what the sleeve looks like. Isn't that so cute, okay? So that's how you do your little puff sleeve, right there, just like that. And then you'll have the white completed on the end and then you'll do the other side of the sleeve. Okay, just like we just did. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the collar real quick. So let me get to, let me find my pattern for the collar. So to do this, first of all, we need our white. So we're gonna release it from there. <laughs> okay, so to start the collar, first of all, you would have, you know, your other sleeve done, but we're not gonna do that, okay? But we're gonna go all the way to the end over here where your, um, where you started with your dress, okay? So we're gonna go all the way over there to the end and then we're going to bring in our white yarn right here at this very last stitch. Just bring in your yarn. And you're going to do six single crochets. So because this is puffy yarn, I'm gonna let that count as my first one there. I don't usually do that, but we are gonna do that. So there's, we've got our one, so then we're gonna bring it in two, three, Four, five, and six. Okay. And then you're going to do two half double crochets. Then you're going to do two double crochets. Sorry, I was off camera. And then in the next spot, you're going to do a treble crochet. So wrap that yarn around your hook three times. So there's one treble. Then you're going to work one double in the same stitch. And then in that same stitch, you're gonna work one half double crochet, okay? Then in your next stitch, you're gonna put one single crochet. And then you're gonna go into your next and you're gonna um, do again what you just did in the other one. So you're gonna do one half double crochet. So we're gonna mirror backwards, one double crochet, 
and then one treble crochet all in that same spot. Okay. And now we're back on our other side. So now we're going to do a two double crochet. So we're gonna do one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next. Then you're going to do two half double crochets. So one half double crochet in the next, one half double crochet in the next, okay? And then you're going to single crochet all the way down to the end. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, all the way down to the end. And that is how that you make your collar. And it will naturally turn down a little bit once you get it all done and you get things set up. So this is what it would look like, okay? And then when you get this finished, you can turn it down, okay? But what I want you to do is go ahead and create a buttonhole here on this side um, for your button. So I want you to chain four, one, two, three, and four, now remember, we didn't do undo anything. This is just where we just ended for our collar. We chained four. And then we're going to go right back into that same spot and do a single crochet, just like that. And that leaves a little hole there for your button, okay? So then you're going to cut off and then you'll work that in into the collar. Now. You will do the same thing for the buttons going down if you want those buttons. You don't have to put them here, that's up to you. But there'll be a button that you sew right here at the top and that will be for that loop right there. And then there will be a button here. You can either use the white thread, but you'll do it the same way. You'll either bring in the white or the red, however you wanna do it, and you'll bring it in. You'll chain four and then you'll single crochet back in, work in your ends and then you have a loop and then you would put another one here, and then on the corresponding side, you would sew on a button. Okay, so that's how you do the buttons for the back. And then, I'll just show you real quick the collar, which will look better once you have your <laughs> thing on there. But see, and the collar turns down, and then you'll have your other, um, your other sleeve right here, and then you'll have this completed, and it'll just be absolutely gorgeous, okay? So let me show you how to do the apron real quick, and then we can wrap up. So the apron's really easy. You're just going to do a slip knot, single crochet, I mean, chain 11. One, and make sure you do the Actually, I think this is the bottom, so um, let's do, just do a slip knot, chain 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, okay? And you're gonna go into your second stitch and you're going to do a double crochet all the way down so you would just skip this first stitch I mean you would just go into the second stitch and do a double crochet which would mean you would have 10 all the way down using this puffy yarn and your five millimeter hook so there's two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And basically what you're making is kind of like a swatch, you know. Um, so that's all that you're really doing. And you're just gonna go 
back and forth and you're gonna do just the just like we just did you're gonna chain two or chain three rather turn your work and then do double crochets all the way back down that first one counting so just going all the way back down and you're just gonna keep doing that and you're gonna do that for five more rows so um, after this first one so in total you should have six rows and then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go after you finish this swatch you're gonna go around the whole thing with single crochets that's all you're gonna do it's that easy um, so once you finish your little swatch here of six just go all the way around with single crochets and then um, make sure that you leave a tail on for the end to tie around the doll, okay? So when you get back up to make sure that your single crochet ends over here and then you can leave a long tail and this can be the top of your apron and then you can put the little candy canes on. So it's very, very simple for the apron, just easy, easy stuff, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm just gonna bring the little doll back over. I just wanna show you real quick what the apron looks like. So again, as you can see, it's really just, so you're just gonna do those rounds of double crochets, come back around with a single crochet, and then make sure that you leave the two up here at the top. If for some reason you do not end up with two at the top and you can't figure it out like two strings, just cut off a long piece and work it in coming from back here to the other side, okay, so it won't come undone. So just wiggle your way in and out, in and out, all over the place till it comes back over here, and then you can tie it and bring it back to the back, okay? So let me show you real quick again what the back looks like, because we did discuss the buttons, but I just wanna show you. I did my first one with the white and put the button there like I showed you how to do. And then I did my other little loops in red, but you can do them however you wish. And then I brought, this is such a chunky, thick yarn that I just thought it was fine to leave it alone. And I just did a little bow in the back for the apron. As you can see, the ends here, yours are going to look so much better. What I did is for this row here, I did it on top and did the other one under, but yours is going to just look more great because we started it correctly up at the top, okay? So, and yeah, I said more great. <laughs> okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, like, do all those wonderful things. If you're part of crochet groups, please share my tutorials if you love them and you want to share them. Please share them in your crochet groups. Um, it's kind of hard to get the word out for YouTube, so you're just hoping that your viewers will share and love your work. So I really hope that you do and that you, if you have the time that you can do that again, if you do have the time and you feel like you can, please watch an ad here or there that really helps cover the materials for um, this YouTube channel. So thanks again, guys. Happy crocheting, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.